So you know what parsley is, right? It's an herb that's used in tons of dishes from all over the world. But do you know the other side of parsley? That's what we're checking out on today's WTF. Today's sponsor is Leitz Culinaria. They are a James Beard award-winning food destination site full of really interesting stories, beautiful photographs, and delicious recipes. Uh, and everything has this really nice dry sense of humor and wit to it. It's a fun site. Check it out online at leitzculinaria.com. Before we begin, we got a little uh, housekeeping. We have some comments. Uh, it's me, Fawn writes on YouTube. Hey Dan, I'm so excited. Uh, my brother was just not nominated for a 2011 James Beard Award for Best Chef in the Southeast. It's me, Fawn. Congratulations to you and your brother. So parsley root, also known as rooted parsley, is parsley that is grown specifically so the root is much larger. Uh, the type of parsley that you buy just for the leaves actually has a much smaller root, and that's useless when you're looking to cook with it. Color-wise, parsley root is pale white, and honestly, it looks a lot like parsnip root. As far as the taste is concerned, it's very similar to something like a cross between carrot and celery, uh, but it has its own flavor. You really just have to try it to experience it for yourself. Here in the States, it's most commonly found during the winter time, and it's really, really prevalent in soups and stews because it holds really well uh, up to liquid cooking. Parsley root is really versatile. You can bake it, you can broil it, you can roast it, you can braise it, you can do basically anything with it. Anything you do with a carrot, you can do with parsley root. Um, and in fact, if you're cooking and you're gonna be using a carrot, why not try parsley root, substitute it out, and see what that does to the flavor. When you're gonna buy parsley root, you wanna make sure that you're buying a plant that's plump and juicy and that the leaves are really bright and fresh. Um, if you don't use it very quickly, you'll find that it rapidly deteriorates and wilts. Parsley root and seeds are used in medicine. Uh, they can help regulate gastrointestinal diseases, kidney and liver diseases. And for those suffering from diabetes, it's believed that parsley root helps regulate your blood sugar levels. So today we are not putting parsley root in a soup or a stew, which is what most people use it for. Instead, we are going to make snack food, parsley root chips. First, heat up some vegetable oil to about 400 degrees. Then you're gonna thinly slice your parsley root. I'm using a mandolin to get paper thin slices. If you don't have a mandolin, you can buy one for about $20 and it's gonna make this job a lot easier. Be careful because they are very sharp. Um, if you don't want a spring for that, you can use a knife or you can even use the end of like a potato peeler and cut off little bits at a time. When your oil's hot, add your parsley root and let it cook up. You don't wanna overwhelm or overcrowd your oil, so just do small batches at a time and eat them as you go. Once they're fried up and crispy, you're gonna strain them and add some salt and enjoy. Now you can season this with whatever you want. You could add some sugar to it and make it a, more of a sweet chip. You could put curry powder, togarashi, anything you want on it and it's gonna be delicious. Uh, it'll have a nice bright bitter taste to it. Really great chips and much healthier than potatoes. So that is today's WTF. If you are watching this in iTunes, please leave a comment. Even if you've left one before, leave another one. You don't know how much it helps us with the show. Same thing for YouTube and anywhere else that you're watching. And please post a comment. Let me know if you've ever used Parsley Root or what you'd like me to cover on WTF. Be sure to check out LeetsCulinary.com and I will see you tomorrow.